Hi, we're going to talk in this video very briefly about the process of installing a generator as a backup supply when you've got power cuts in your area. Uh, this is fairly common where we live, uh, just outside of Melbourne in uh, Victoria, Australia. Uh, we have our power delivered by overhead cables, so when we get a storm, it's quite likely we'll get trees blown over and uh, the resulting power outage. Uh, this can go on for a few hours and uh, in some cases as much as uh, five or six days. So uh, probably a worthwhile investment. Uh, like most people, I uh, did the research on the internet and found a good company in Sydney called My Generator who were more than helpful in suggesting the uh, right generator for our budget and what we were trying to do. We actually ended up with a Yamaha uh, 2800 watt unit uh, that's actually um, producing a stable current. It's uh, in the I series, an inverter. And um, on testing it at the end, it uh, accomplished all the tasks we were looking for, which were basically that when we get a power outage, we can simply set it up. Um, we had to get an electrician in to install. Um, extra switches in our electric power box. Uh, what they did is they bridged several circuits into this switch um, including our lighting and uh, power for things like TVs, uh, charging up um, uh, iPads, mobile phones, that type of thing. We could also run uh, lighting throughout the house and we could also uh, use um, you know, music and all the usual stuff. We weren't really looking for anything that was going to operate um, cooking, electric kettles or um, heating of any type. And um, the only other consideration, we've got several water pumps for operating our hot water system, which is gas and solar. And we also have a pump for our mains water out of the tank. And uh, that being said, uh, 2,800 watts more than accommodates that. We're not saying all of those are operating at once. The other benefit of the Yamaha generator, it's also throttled so that um, as the load diminishes, the throttle on the generator goes down. And that has the advantage of prolonging the duration of one tank of fuel, which will last up to about uh, 17 hours, which is more than enough to keep our refrigerators going, our deep freeze, and um, the things that you obviously need to um, consider over the longer term, particularly if you've got an outage for two or three days. Okay, what was involved? First was to find a, um, an electrician who um, is competent in this sort of work. Um, it seemed to uh, be uh, just finding the right guy who's done it before and didn't have to play around, uh, but could go straight to and uh, do the connection. I'm Luke from GC Electrical. All we've done today here is installed a generator changeover switch for our client. Uh, this area up in the hills, we're prone to have a few blackouts and whatnot. So um, we've installed a generator out the back and uh, it's on an appliance inlet, just plugged into the side of the house. And what we've got here is a changeover switch. So when the uh, power goes out, if we have a blackout, you can simply flick it to uh, generator and then uh, selected circuits within the house will operate. So the kitchen, fridge, water pump, uh, some lights around the house and whatnot. These things are quite easy to install. Um, a typical setup, you look at about two hours to pop one in. Um, just got to uh, basically add a changeover switch to the switchboard and then install an appliance inlet wherever the customer likes. So maybe around the back of the house where the generator noise, fumes, whatnot aren't going to uh, impact anyone or they do have to be inspected by an electrical inspector afterwards, the type of work it is. Uh, but that's all covered in our, our price and our, uh, our work that we do. So they're a good little thing. If you live in an area where you get, uh, you're get prone to blackouts or whatnot, or you've got a bushfire area and you need to consider having a uh, water pump run, this is uh, something you should maybe look at and uh, consider in the future. The output on this generator is via two 15 amp sockets at 240 volts. It was easy to start, uh, no problems there. And um, yeah, as long as it's uh, open to the elements, it's got a cover over the top to keep the rain off, but basically uh, can exhaust freely. Um, and that's it really. So I uh, hope you found this of interest and I'll leave information about the electrician we used if you're in the Melbourne area and certainly uh, can highly recommend my generator 
from a uh, point of advising which generator to use, and they were also very fast to supply it, probably two or three days, and uh, we had it uh, ordering online. Okay, well, uh, best of luck if you go down the same road, and um, I'm sure you'll be a lot more comfortable knowing the fact that you've got uh, a backup system when we get those inev inevitable uh, power outages. Thank you.